Now I want to add some interaction to a web page. So I'm going to start off by creating a simple web page design with a couple of uh, controls on it. One will be a text entry field. This is how I'm doing it. This is the HTML required. Now this is not a course about HTML, so I'm going to use only as much as I need to uh, implement interaction with JavaScript. And of course, there are many HTML references that you can find online if you need to uh, brush up your HTML. Or if you're using an editor such as Dreamweaver, of course, that will automate to a large extent the entry of HTML because it'll let you design it visually. But in any case, what I've done here is I've defined a text input field and I've given it the ID username. That's uh, an identifier that I can refer to it by in my JavaScript, and I've given it a value. That's what it's going to display. And I want another item below it, which is going to be a button. So I put type equals button. Um, now, on click, I'm going to write this here. This is the on click event that occurs when somebody clicks the button with a mouse. And I'm going to put in the name of a function. I haven't written the function yet. This is going to be a JavaScript function, a named subroutine in JavaScript. And I'm going to call it greet user. And finally, the value, that's what's going to be displayed by default on the button. Say, hello. And I close the tag with a slash uh, and a right-facing pointy angle bracket. So let's check. I've got one text entry field with the ID username. I've got a button and the button doesn't need an ID because I'm not going to refer to it in my uh, JavaScript, but it does need a click event handler and I've specified that as greet user. So let's go and write the JavaScript now. First of all, I need my named subroutine that begins with a reserved word function. Then the name by which I want to call it, well, I've already specified in the the HTML for the button, I've specified the JavaScript name greet user, so that's what I'm going to use here. Um, and a pair of curly brackets to uh, delimit the function, so I can put code between these curly brackets. First of all, a variable user input. That's going to store the uh, text that the user inputs. And now I'm using something called document. Document refers to the current web browser. This is part of the way that a document, a web page is structured. It's called the document object model or DOM, D-O-M for short. And it lets me refer to the document and use certain properties and functions, methods that are applicable to the document object. I'll talk a bit more about that later in this course, but for now, all you need to know is there's a very useful function here called get element by ID. Well, I've given some of my elements, some of the bits and pieces in the HTML code, IDs, I've given them names. So I can put their names in here. Now, the one that I want is the text entry field, and that's called username. That's what I, the name I gave it when I wrote my HTML. So this gets me a reference to that field, and I want to find what it contains, and I get that with the value property. Uh, now I'll use document again beneath here, and Again, get element by ID, and this time I want to get the, ah, oh, wait a minute, I want to get something I haven't yet written. I also want to display the text in the HTML, and for that, I'm just going to have a normal text field between a couple of paragraph tags, just a normal static bit of text, and by default, I want to display welcome. But in order to change that text interactively, I again need an ID, so I'm going to give it the ID equals, and I'm going to call it greeting. And having done that, I can now go back into my JavaScript and refer to that element. That's the uh, bit of text between the paragraph markers. And I've given that the ID greeting. So I can now say get element by ID greeting as a string there between uh, string delimiters. And this time I need something called inner HTML that goes into the HTML uh, tags, looks in between those two tags and gets the, the text that's in there. 
And this time I want not just to get a value, but I want to set it to something new. So I'm going to put in a string, hello, comma, another string delimiter. Concatenate something to that string, and what I'm going to concatenate is the value of the variable, the variable I declared above, user input. So let's have a look what my code does. The code here says set up a variable. I'm going to call my variable user input. The value assigned to that variable is returned by this bit of code here. It goes and looks in the HTML for an element with the ID username. That's this text entry field, and it gets its value. The default value is enter your name. But by the time the user clicks the button, I'm hoping that they'll have entered something different, an actual name. So when the button is clicked, it calls greet user. That's this function in JavaScript. And now the next bit of code goes and gets the user input variable, the value, which is the, the name that's been entered. It appends that to hello, and it sets the inner HTML property. It actually puts that string onto the page between my paragraph markers because that's the element that has the name, the identifier greeting. So let's see if this all works as I'm hoping it does. I load up this HTML file into my web browser. And let's refresh it to see what it does. So here's my form. So let's have a look how this actually works. You can see that welcome here is just a piece of text I've entered between the paragraph markers. Then there's the text entry field. It's got the value, enter your name. Then there's the button. And that has the value, the label, say hello. So I'm going to enter my name. My name is Hugh, so I'll enter it here. Delete that text. Enter my name. When I click the button, on click calls, I'm hoping, my JavaScript function, greet user. And sure enough, that's the result. So what that's done is it's got the text that was entered into the text field. That's its value. And it's set the inner HTML, the uh, text between the, uh, in this case, between the paragraph tags with the ID greeting. So there, in a few short lines of JavaScript and HTML, I've been able to create a page that has some programming logic that changes the text, in this case, displayed on a page in response to user interaction. Learn programming and the business of programming at www.bitwisecourses.com.